oh my god, I can't fucking believe you're here, you're amazing, you're just like, your biggest fan ever, and I can't believe it, and I, just, I saw you out so I oh my god, I got to fucking see her, she was amazing, so I, I came in here and I saw your book, because I, oh my god, I saw your book, but it was like, fucking hell, and so I just came in here, and you're here, and I can't believe you're here. Hello, I'm Stella Berg, and I'm here today at the South Croydon Community Centre, where horror movie icon, Karen M.A. Trotter is here signing copies of her newest autobiography, The Girl Behind the Woman. And earlier on today, I had the greatest opportunity to steal her away from her army of fans to just ask her a few questions about what it's like to be a horror movie queen. Let's cut to the tape. Oh my God! Well, doing the Center franchise was a really interesting experience and I really enjoyed being able to develop the character throughout the movie. But, you know, we all have these fears about being tiny so uh, despite rumors to the contrary, there's going to be no Center 4. And this will come as a huge blow for Karen's army of fans who have been waiting patiently for the last seven years to hear those famous words. I've got to go upstairs and get the baby! Well, I would say as always that my thanks really goes out to my family because they've just always been there for me. Always. Hey Courtney, how's it hanging? This is your sister, Courtney Mustard, who lives in a pub here in South Croydon. It's not Mustard, it's Mustave! And I don't work in a pub, it's a wine bar! And I'm landlady. Brian! Brian, get here! That woman really has always been a rock for me. You know, when I thought I had no one, nobody at all in the world, I had Courtney. She truly was the wind beneath my wings. And now I'm flying high. That's so sweet. Well, what can I say? That's my Courtney. So, although Karen M.A. Trotter has stunned the world with today's announcement of not continuing the Sitter franchise, we can be rest assured there are plenty more shock revelations in her latest book. And does this include details of her offset lesbian love affair with the monster? Oh, you'll just have to read the book. <laughs> and that we will. This is Stella Berg reporting for Retort News. What did you want me to look at, love? Oh, forget it, Brian. You were too bloody slow as bloody usual. Absolutely. Look, I've got some ideas for some food in the pub. I've been looking for a more book here. And, um, well, it's quite, quite good, word. Karen M.A. Trotter, still the bloody cheat to call me her sister. Oh, she's probably just been busy with her book launch. Fourteen months, Brian! Fourteen fucking months since she last came and saw me. Do you know, she's got her head so rammed up her own arse she's forgotten her roots. I'm oh. telling you, Brian, that's it. I'll fucking wash me hands of her. I would piss on her if she were on fire. I think you're being a bit harsh, love. Oh, fuck off. You're only saying that because you want to shag her. Oh, there's no need to be jealous of her. We've got all this new look at what we've achieved. Jealous. Well... I've got a little troll up! What do I mean? What? Fuck off! Could now, Dad, look deeper. Get out of my pub. But technically, it's my pub. Brian, get out. But... Get out. But... Now. But... Now! <laughs> Fucking wanker! Karen, darling, have one of my crusty baps. Oh, Sonny, with these crusty baps, you're really spoiling us. <laughs> oh, that report you did for Showdown News was simply fantastic. But I don't think you should have told the world that you weren't going to continue the Scissor franchise. Sonny, I haven't played Jenny for seven years. It's not going to come as a big surprise. Karen, you don't understand. You're a cult icon. You're the Jay and Silent Bob of horror movies. 
honey. I want to be known for more than just the girl that goes upstairs to get the baby. I'm better than that. I want to be in something that's sophisticated and intelligent. Something that has something to say about society. Karen, darling, as your manager, I know what you're capable of. And intelligent films, you're not. I'm going to prove you wrong, Sonny. One of these days, I'm going to star in a critically acclaimed movie, perhaps co-starring against Hugh Grant or Shane Ritchie. I'm going to be such a star you're going to see. Karen, I'll be straight with you. I've just finished a script for Sitter 4. It's going to be fantastic, and you're going to be the star. No. I'm not going to do it, no. Look, I've only written one script. I'll give it to you, and you can take it home tonight. You read it. If you don't like it, I'll just throw it away, and we can forget about the whole thing. Sonny, I said no. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to be in it. I'm not going to play Jenny anymore. Karen, your fans aren't going to be happy if you don't continue with the franchise. There may be hell to pay. <laughs> Sonny, you're really off your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, sweetie. Hell to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet darling, I told you that if you announced to the world that you wanted to end the Sitter franchise, there'd be hell to pay! Okay, okay, darling sweetie, calm down. I'll be round in ten minutes! Thank you, sonny. Thank God. Okay, bye. The nightmare has just begun. I guess this means no Sitter 4. <laughs> oh, no, not again! What you can't afford, darling. Look, get my girlfriend a drink now. This customer is drunk. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. I don't think you understand me, darling. What my girlfriend wants, my girlfriend gets. And what she wants is a drink. So start getting her a drink. <laughs> I'm sure between the two of you, there's one brain cell. Or have you forgotten that I barred you both last week? Now get your cheap pay 
Nike asses out of my pub. Go on and get out of it. Don't worry, Darren, I didn't want to stay in this dump anyway. Push off. Fucking piss it. Two of you be without me, I don't know. What's a girl gotta do to get a drink around here? You're right, pet. Be nice. Don't want to start a row. It's good to have you. That's the one. Don't spit in the tea. Don't spit in the tea. Don't spit in the tea. My manager said that he would be around in ten minutes, and that was like two hours ago. And I tried calling him on his cell phone, but there's no answer, and I just. I didn't know where else to go. I was so scared. Oh, love you. Oh, oh you poor you. thing. I mean, I know it's been a while. I know we haven't seen each other for a while, but we are always here for you. Isn't that right, Brian? Don't I always say that, that we are always here for you, Karen? I mean, we're family at the end of the day. Oh, thanks, sis. And thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. I was watching something about you on the news the other day, and I said to our Brian, didn't I say, Brian? I said that I haven't seen our Karen in so long now. Didn't I just say that, Brian, the other day when we were arguing about the sky thing, Brian? Brian, didn't I say that? Oh, pet, I'll show you to your own. Sit down, Brian! Karen's a big girl. She can find the way to a room on her own. So, Brian, what do you do for the I'm a personal trainer, isn't it? Is that why you've got such a strong looking arm? Nah, I just wank a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Brian! Go downstairs and turn that fucking extractor fan off. I can barely hear myself fucking think up here. Sorry, man. Would you like to come upstairs for a coffee? Nah, I'd rather have a shag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pardon. Yeah, you heard me. You haven't turned it off? Oh, you said I haven't turned it off. I, I asked you to turn it off, Brian. I asked you just now. I don't want it on anymore. I want to do some good. How dare you? I've your wife I've given you 20 years and I won't be spoken to like that by you. Oh, really? This is quite complex for spies and yeah, I've never done it before. So should... Oh no you don't, I'm not listening to this tripe. It's my name above that door and I know how to run this place. Good for nothing, Brian. My dad always said you wouldn't amount to a bloody thing. If you want something done, pet, you better do it yourself. And God bless his soul, he were bloody right. Out of my way, you fucking moron! Oh! Bring your love. He loves you, that boy. He's probably just at a premiere, isn't he? Or a glitzy do or something. The agent doesn't go without the star. Well, our Brian used to go out without me back in the day when he was promoting my singing career. Yeah, that's not really the same, though, is it? Standing on the stage. 
nervous as hell, palms sweating, punters anticipating, pints as far as the eye can see. The rustling of a packet of scampi fries being opened and devoured in the distance. A mirror ball twists on the ceiling and tiny squares of light fill the room. Dolly, Dusty, Barbara, I've done them all proud me. I don't know what to do. I went back to the house earlier and there was a book on the step in my garden and I didn't put it there. And I think that you know, Sunny said that if I didn't make the Sitter franchise anymore, that there might be hell to pay. So does that mean that there's someone there? Does that mean that there's someone after me now? The fans always suffer. Don't worry. Your public will forgive you, love. Trust me. Oh, great. Oh, oh sissy! Oh, Sissy! Why can't you give me that kind of pleasure, Brian? Oh, don't! No, you fucking don't! Oh, yeah. should I? Sometimes I just think you don't love me anymore. Of course I love you, Courtney. You're the love of my life. Do you mean that, Brian? Of course I do. Brian. Oh, shut up! Hurry up and come already! Oh, oh, my sister! Oh, I can't hold on much longer! Oh, at last. Oh. Sissy's gone. She was on the dive ship today. And the pup still showed up and she's nodding around. Good for nothing, Brian. Knew I couldn't trust you to hire the right people to work here. And it was you who wanted to say. There's no time to split hers, Brian. Go downstairs and open up the pub. No. <laughs> Pick your pardon. No, I'll go plan to that. Brian, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Go downstairs and open up the pub. Now listen to me, you fucking whore. I'll put up a young shit for 20 years and not put up with you anymore. And you're constantly demanding me. It's your own pub that pub. So you are better go and open it up. Morning, pet. How you doing? How long have you been there? Long enough. Long enough to see that you didn't get a very good night's sleep last How night. could anybody sleep with that dumbass barmaid making out in the room next door? Well, she's gone now, and I don't think she'll be back. Why? Where's she gone? Shh. Don't you worry about it, pet. You go back to sleep. I've got some business to take care of. by Sunny Monroe. Hey, this is Sunny's script, but how did it get here? Is that blood? Courtney! Who the fuck are you? You got any work 
going. Brian! Brian, I think I know who it is. I think I know who's after me. Karen, what are you talking about? I found this in my room, Brian. Whoever put that there knows what happened to Sonny. Oh! How on earth put it there? Brian, I think Courtney might be behind this. I think she may be secretly jealous of my success, my good looks, and my lifestyle. But why, Courtney? She's always really nice to my face, but I think that she secretly despises me. I'm not as dumb as some people may think. Karen, my dear, you don't know how wrong you are. But hopefully, everyone else will think the same as you. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. It was quite a simple plan, really. Brand new out to the poop, by bumping off that manager of yours, he really was off his head. Oh, 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 oh. And everyone knows how much Courtney hates you and envies you. So, Courtney kills you. Kills a few innocents along the way. Then flies the country. Never to be seen again. Result? I get what I've wanted for the last 20 years. So you kill my sister as well? No. I'll kill her in a minute. Finally. She drops the act. Karen M. A. Trotter. Barnsley born and bred. Yeah, I've spent your whole life trying to be nothing like her. And that's exactly what you are. Nothing. Just like her. Well, I think you've watched one too many horror movies, Brian. Your plot's got more holes in it than a tetley tea bag. And talking of plot holes, oh, I've read your script for City 4. The reviews are in. And quite frankly, my dear, you've been panned. <laughs>
Karen. Taking a little piece of you with me. Each piece representing a year of wedding bliss. I think I'll start with, for the obvious reason, your tongue. You'll never get away with this, Brian. People will wonder where I've gone. Don't worry, pet. I've framed you for the deaths of five innocent people. And as far as everyone's concerned, you're on the run. Well, Brian, I hope you realise that when they find my body, you'll be exposed for the man that you really are. Oh, I've already figured out a way of disposing of your body. Why, <laughs> 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 Brian? <laughs> Burger is fucking pucker, Brian. What's the secret ingredient? Well, I'm afraid if I told you the secret ingredient, I'd have to kill you. Mm, fair dues. Hey, Brian, it's so good that this place started doing food. It's about time, and I'm glad that bitch of my wife is gone. Why the fuck ain't they caught her yet? What's all that about? I'm sure the players are doing everything they can. Brian Collins, still a burger's the name. I work for Retort Movie Productions, and I'd like to offer you the chance to be involved in a televised movie production about the very horrors that took place under this roof. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to put the events of the last few months behind me. It's all been extremely trying. How does a cheque for £200,000 sound to secure the rights? Done. Fucking hell, Brian. You've got it made. First your wife leaves you and then a movie deal. How do you do it? Strong as this sounds, I think I owe everything to poor old Courtney. Yes, she might have killed five innocent people, 
including her own sister. But let's face it, they were fucking annoying. The publicity has increased the bar sales threefold for starters. And although her true homicidal tendencies were displayed in the most appalling ways, I think we can all say there is a little bit of Courtney in every one of us. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender. dreams fulfill for my darling I love you and I always will love me tender love me long take me to Oh uh...